Hello everyone, you're welcome to this channel. In this video, we want to prove that cot theta over sec theta minus cos theta all over sec theta plus tan theta is equal to cosec theta minus 1. So if this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to like and subscribe so that anytime we upload a video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Now we are going to manipulate the left hand side of the equation to see if we can get what is at the right hand side. And so the left hand side is giving us cot theta all over sec theta minus cos theta all over sec theta plus tan theta. Now from here we can rewrite cot theta as 1 over tan theta. And tan theta can also be written as sine theta all over cos theta. So here we can rewrite this fraction as cos theta all over sine theta. And we also know from trig identity that sec theta is equal to 1 over cos theta. And so I'm going to substitute this and this into the expression. Now cot theta, we had cos theta over sine theta. So I'm going to write cos theta over sine theta. All over. And then sec theta, we had 1 over cos theta. So we are going to have 1 over cos theta. Minus cos theta all over. And then sec theta, we had 1 over cos theta. So we had 1 over cos theta. Plus, and then tan theta, we can also write tan theta as sin theta all over cos theta. Now from here, we can turn the fraction upside down. In a way that you are going to have cos theta over sin theta times cos theta all over 1 which we are going to have cos squared theta over sin theta so let me clean this and write it. so this side will be equal to cos theta over sin theta minus cos theta all over here we are having same denominators so we are just going to add the numerator so we are going to have one plus sine theta all over cos theta and so i can also turn the denominator upside down to get cos squared theta over sine theta minus so when i turn it upside down i'm going to have cos squared theta all over 1 plus sine theta. So let me clean this side. And from the numerators over here, I'm having cos squared theta in common. So I'm going to factorize cos squared theta out. So I'm going to have cos squared theta out. So here we are going to be left with 1 over sine theta minus and then here i'm going to be left with one over one plus sine theta now let's combine the term inside the bracket so you are going to find the lcm and the lcm here is sine theta multiplying one plus sine theta and over here sine theta goes into the lcm one plus sine theta times and one plus sine theta multiplying one we are going to have one plus sine theta minus and then here we have one plus sine theta and one plus sine theta goes into the lcm sine theta times and sine theta times one we are going to have sine theta so here we are going to have so this all multiplying cos squared theta so you are going to have cos squared theta multiplying so sine theta will take care of minus sine theta so you are going to be left with one over sine theta multiplying one plus sine theta now let me clean this side so 
So let us expand this bracket. So when we do that, we are going to have cos squared theta all over sine theta multiplying 1 plus sine theta. But we know from trick identities that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. So from here, when we make cos squared theta the subject, we are going to have cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So in place of cos squared theta over here, I'm going to write 1 minus sine squared theta over there. So we are going to have 1 minus sine squared theta all over sine theta multiplying 1 plus sine theta. And so this will be equal to, so I can rewrite 1 as 1 squared minus, then I can also rewrite sine theta squared as sine theta all squared all over sine theta multiplying 1 plus sine theta. Now let me clean this side. And from the numerator, we are having difference of 2 squared. So we can rewrite the numerator as 1 minus sine theta multiplying 1 plus sine theta all over sine theta multiplying 1 plus sine theta. And so from here, 1 plus sine theta will take care of 1 plus sine theta. So you are going to be left with 1 minus sine theta all over sine theta. And so from here, we can rewrite this as 1 over sine theta minus sine theta over sine theta. And from here, we are going to have 1 over sine theta is the same as cosec theta minus, and then sine theta will cancel out sine theta. So you are going to be left with 1 over here. So you are going to have cosec theta minus 1. And from here, when we compare this with the right hand side of the equation, we can see that they are the same. And hence, we have been able to prove that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. Thank you for watching. If today is your first time on our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and then comment as well.